But uh, this is the second last final for the day. After this one, we will have the juniors final and it will be the one to watch. This will be the, the next generation of people, of riders that you will possibly see with their own signature model boards in the future. It, it, yet to be confirmed, but these are the guys to watch out for, the juniors. They will be the next generation in the next two or three years. Rider in red. And there we go. That's uh, Hardy Fletcher. Hardy Fletcher. Here he goes, right through, couple of cutties. Oh, oh nice. well done, Hardy. He's been such a great competitor. Oh, what a super grom. It, Ten years old. Ten years old, I can't believe he, it. He took advantage of that section for sure. Oh. He's done so good today. Um, He's in the Super Groms, and he will be currently in the lead with the first wave on the board right after the buzzer. Well done, Hardy Fletcher in the Super Groms. Uh, he's in the red Rashi, and in the white Vashi, we, Rashi, we have Van Taylor, another one of the Taylor boys. His brother, Jai, just won two divisions, the Cadets and the Grommets. And now Van is in the white. Rider in blue is just up and riding, Morrison Parker. Here he goes, through to the inside, the Super Groms. These guys, like, look how young these guys are. They're like tiny, tiny groms. Morrison Parker in the blue with the second wave on the board. Here's the sport from the... What? Uh, What's happened here? Where? This big blue thing. What you... Oh, and everyone running down to the beach must just be giving him a congratulations. Oh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. That'd be uh, for uh, the winner of the last heat. Very well deserved. Wow. Jeez. Hardy. I think that is the highest scoring wave of the that today. It is the highest scoring wave of the day. But you've got to keep in mind these guys are super groms. It's Hardy Fletcher is 10 years old. He's been in multiple divisions today and just smoking through the heats. This is the final for the super groms. And at 10 years old, it's next level. Um, you know, these guys are surfing crucial little sections and they're making the most of these challenging conditions today. Uh, also surfing some very um, challenging waves in their local breaks and uh, standing out in the lineup at 10 years old. Like, you don't really, uh, you don't, you know, well, you do now. You realise how good these guys are. <laughs> and Van Taylor in the white, here we go. Um, Right, uh, is that Van on the inside linking it through with a spin? There we go. That's his second wave. Uh, that will secure his position in second. Uh, it's good weather for the seagulls, that's for sure. And. Uh, here we go, Van Taylor securing his second position with a total score of 7.33. Morrison Parker in third position, only needs, a, well, he needs a 6.51 to uh, put him into first position. <laughs> Starting to hear a bit of that background noise going on. <laughs> Definitely seeing it chop those conditions right up. The, um, I'm lucky to have the tents all still on the ground at the moment. Yep, yep. So we have the super grommets out in the water at the moment in some challenging conditions. These guys are the, the smallest of the grommet competitors today out in the water. The young whippersnappers and the up and coming future pros of tomorrow in the water at the moment for the Super Grommets final of the Future Pros event here at Chugan Beach on the Gold Coast. Currently in the lead, Hardy Fletcher with a 9.17, really making the most of these challenging conditions at 10 years old and milking a nice right-hander right through to shore with a multiple manoeuvre combo. And Van Taylor has secured his position in second spot with a 7.33.
Morrison Parker with a one wave count of a 2.67. And Taylor yet to score on the board, the rider in yellow. Tides come right up and it has swallowed a little bit of the swell. Um, they are getting a few more length throughs to the shore. Whoa, we nearly lost the computer monitor then. Um, but they are still making the most of it out there. I can see to the southern end of the beach, there is some right-handers that are breaking a bit further out the back and coming through. But you can see the Super Groms here oh, are sort of sitting on the inside. And um, that's going to go over soon. Um, I'm just holding our monitor so it doesn't blow over. It's treacherous conditions out here. Super treacherous. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Upstairs for thinking. <laughs> wow, that that wind is just really kicked up. Yeah, there goes. Uh any chances of an afternoon surf for those of us who've uh, been <laughs> organising oh, here today? I'm, I'm worried about driving home and not getting blown off the road, let alone being yeah. out to surf. Yeah, it's starting to get that way. It is. Um, you know, the, very good job to the guys out there. You know, it's super challenging. Here we go. Ryder in yellow. Coming through with a nice little left-hander. Oh, Woo! good. Nice hold on on that wave. Yeah. The, uh, that was a very good wave selection for a little insider there. Uh, Taylor on his first wave. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy down here. It's crazy. Rob's on the on the microphone and leaning up against the backdrop so just to stop half the beach blowing us away or turning us in, putting us about eight foot under a sea in June. Um, the, the background noise sounds like something from an eerie movie, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, it's like a Star Wars movie in the sand dunes. <laughs> You can see that tide's coming right up, so we'll be right on the top of the tide as we get into that last heat, approaching the top of the tide. But we are in the super grommets. An... <coughs> we are in the super grommets final at the moment. <coughs> with Hardy Fletcher still sitting out in front with a solid score of 9.17, with only one wave, but still holding that position with a solid, solid score. Well deserved. Um, Hardy's been surfing real good today. And he's sniffing at this one now. He goes Hardy on another little right-hander. And he's got a spin. And it's looked like it's starting to line up for him on the inside. Racing down the right. And a roll. Nice spin and roll. Jeez, he surfs good. Well done, Hardy. And another spin just to secure it even further. He's... Oh, oh and, and another and roll. roll. He's going to be a hard one to beat with that top score, with the first score of 9.17. And here's the replay of his second wave all the way through. His positioning, just sitting in the pocket, like he knows how to read. Like he surfs a lot of, uh, you know, uh, um, hollow little reef waves. So he, he knows how to sit in the pocket. He's not scared to sort of get right in there and let the wave do the work. Oh, and the flippers are coming off for a full beach run. Oh, he's running up the beach. <laughs> he finished that one quite out of the competition area, so I'll be interested on how that gets scored. But He, uh, he could pretty much run up and have a hot shower, I reckon, because he's uh, pretty much secured that position. I mean, we've still got ten, uh, just over 10 and a half minutes remaining, but he's, he's right out in front with a 15.5, almost the highest scoring combo for the day. Um, and Van Taylor in second with a 7.33. Well, he's sprinting like he needs to get a better score. <laughs> Look at him go. What a legend. Hardy Fletcher, current current final winner for the Super Grom. Still with 10 minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Hardy is way out in front. Hardy Fletcher, well done. Van Taylor is currently in second. And Morrison Parker in third. Taylor... Taylor Brankman in fourth in the yellow. <clears throat> 
Hardy Fletcher, fourth place in the Grommets division in the national titles this year. <laughs> All right, we've got Archer Toms, the winner of the uh, of the Grommets final. Yep. And we could see it coming, Archer. Like we were saying on your last heat, you've been spectacular to watch. You've come all the way up from New South Wales, and um, we're happy to have you on board. And you've done an amazing job, um, and definitely one to watch in the future. Like I was saying, like he's a name to watch. Uh, Archer Toms is here, and a solid winner of the. The Grommets final. How did you find it out there in the heat? Were you? Was there anybody that you felt threatened by out in the water? Definitely Zade and o Ollie and me always have good battles. We do club comps together. Oh right. Yep. yep. Um, Chase Dewey, always good competition. Yeah. Didn't had a little bit of a rough start in my cadets final. Sort of just got my rhythm, but just took over in drums. Felt real good. Yeah, how, how did you go in the cadets? You um, Fourth. Oh, you yeah. got fourth, yeah. And then you back to back and went in the grommets, is that yep. right? With Zaid, yeah. So Zaid was very lucky too. He won the grommets and then I think he hung on to second maybe, did he? Or? Yeah, he got second. Yeah. yeah. That um, but that, well done, man. Like, uh, that was well deserved. Like, you had some strong competition in there with Zaid. Zaid's been doing really good at milking waves right through to the shore, but you could definitely see in your heat that you were the stronger competitor in the water. And uh, I think it was well-deserved winning the final for the Future Pros in 2023. Thank you. No worries. Thanks, Archer, mate. We were, it's a pleasure to have you on board. So, All good. Yeah, well done. Congratulations. And we'll see you on the podium a bit later. Sure. Thank you, mate. Well done, mate. Thank Thanks, mate. There he was, Archer Toms, the winner of the Grommets. Uh, he got fourth in the in the Cadets with Jai. Uh, not Jai, with Zaid, sorry. Zaid, I think it was Zaid. Yeah, yeah. Zaid Taylor. Zaid Taylor, the winner of the Cadets. And uh, Archer got fourth. And they both went back-to-back -back finals. Uh, so finals in the Cadets and finals in the Grommets, one after the other. Didn't even take the rashy off, didn't even paddle in, just stayed out there and come through to win the Grommets. Final and like I said, it was it was noticeable out in the water. Uh, definitely a strong competitor and a well-deserved first position for Archer. So thanks again for making the effort to come all the way up for this competition. Very happy to have you here. Hardy Fletcher. We got the lads getting ready for the final over there. Juniors final. We've got Cooper Stewart in this one. Last year's winner, wanting to hold on to the title, no doubt, but has got. Very stiff condition uh, competition this year and very tough conditions as well, but they've all got to compete in the same conditions. So stay tuned, guys, if you're just, if you're just tuning in or you're watching the finals. We've got the Super Groms out there now. And Hardy Fletcher, being one of my favourite Groms to watch all day, just, just absolutely smashing it and holding a very, very strong first position. And uh, one of my favourite Grommies to surf with at my local break at Yurumba, Van Taylor, such a legendary dude. Uh, currently in second position, holding, sitting strong in second. Morrison Parker in blue in third and Taylor Bragwin in fourth in the yellow. So here we go, Cooper's uh, heading down the beach and we've got uh, Kiato. This is gonna be a good one to watch. Kiato and Cooper, two of my favourite, one favorite um, junior competitors today. Let's take a moment to give the sponsors a shout out. We've got Inverted Bodyboarding, sponsored by Convict, Dream, Convict Bodyboarding, Dreamworld, Vintage Bodyboard Collector, Amazon Power Asai, Surf Lakes, Tim Oliver Photography, and organized by the Gold Coast Bodyboard Club. They give a special shout out to Tapper over there for doing the um, the beach commentary emceeing. Shout out to the ladies behind the um, Gold Coast Bodyboard Club for organising the acai bowls and the 
pizza and the food and coffees and so forth. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And shout out to Absolute Streaming for putting up with his absolute st sandstorm here. I'm still putting out the goods for you guys at home. <laughs> absolute <laughs> legends. It's so good to do these events for us. It's very challenging down on the beach. And uh, here we go, five minutes remaining. Uh, the junior final is about to paddle out in the water. So watch this space for the highlight of the day. The best competitors and the juniors, the next up and comers in the next two or three years, keep a close eye on these guys. You will see them um, shining through. Even the bloke on the jet ski out there has got a storm jacket on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's ready for the blizzard. We have been pretty lucky though here today with the um, rain not coming through. Yep, don't There's, jinx us, but yep. Yep, no, no, that's <laughs> definitely, that's Absolute Streaming's least favourite friend. Yeah, yep. And then, you know, the wind for not being as ferocious as it can be. Yep, no, uh, nonetheless, like, it's been a very successful day. Um, Apologise our whinging about the sand, otherwise we've got it pretty good. We've been fed and watered all day and um, been loving every minute of it down here for the Future Pros event. Happy to represent. Uh, I'm Dave Hertzfield and Rob from Gold Coast Bodyball Club here as well on the commentary box. Happy to be here bringing this event live to you from YouTube. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a pleasure to bring, bring it to you today, guys, and I hope you've all enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed bringing it and um, being here all day. And, you know, not everyone can take the day off and come down and sit on the beach, but to those of you who have taken a moment out to jump online and watch on the streaming, Big shout out to you guys because you're the reason we put it online, mm -hmm. and um, you know it gives a uh, gives more exposure to these groms at uh, future opportunities. And it, like we said earlier, it builds them a bit of a bodyboarding resume for the future of their careers, and gives them um, good things to show potential sponsors and so forth. So. Yeah, there's a lot of new, well, up and comers that um, are new to me, and they've stood out today and. Um, you know, and they've already got a little bit of a uh, resume and now they're obviously going to be more well known via the live stream, which it just helps. You can go back and watch it later. We got uh, Jai, is it? Jai Taylor. Oops. Jump on in, mate. Can we... Um... So we got you in the middle of the sandstorm here, Jai. How did um, how'd you feel taking that first one out and then taking second place in the se in the um, second final? Yeah, it was really good. A bit yeah. tiring through the grommets though. Yeah, staying mate, that, out there. That was 40 minutes of continuous surfing. Yeah. So you did pretty decent to t to win one and come second in the other. How yeah, was um how was it as an experience? Yeah, it was really good. Um, stoked to take out first in the cadets. What impressed me most was you are uh, able to just squeeze every little bit out of each wave right through the shore. It definitely worked in your favour and uh, your, your win in the cadets was definitely well deserved. And for you to stick through and get second in the, was it second? Yeah. In the grommets? Yeah. Mate, that's a solid effort. Back to back, didn't even take the rashy off and uh, um, you've put in the hard work today and You've got, you'll score yourself two trophies on the podium today. Congratulations, yeah, Aidan. I was uh, well done, amazed Thank to you. watch your surfing. It's spectacular out there. And as you can see, your brother out there as well. Um, he's been doing really well in the finals for the Super Groms, yeah. you can see. So everybody, uh, Zay Taylor, Jai Taylor, they're from the Taylor family. There's Jai, Zaid and Van. Zaid, one to watch out for. Winner of the Cadets and the Grommets. Oh, second in the Grommets finals at yeah. the Future Pros 2023. Congratulations, mate. Yeah, thanks. Well done, mate. Anything you want to say to anyone out there? Oh, just thanks to mum and dad for taking me all to comps and yep. inverted sponsorship. Yep, yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one idea. of the main sponsors and the family being your main sponsor, taking you everywhere, I've noticed. Yeah. They get you to all the good comps and that. Yep. Yeah, mum and dad. Absolute and legends. Yeah, no, that, it's uh, always good to see you guys out in the water. And again, congratulations, big effort. And um, you, I think you'll get a lot of recognition from this competition. People will notice how strong of a competition you, surfer you've become and um, how much you've progressed. And it's, it's, been, it's been an absolute treat to watch. So 
thanks again for making the effort and congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well done, thank mate. Look thanks. forward to seeing you in the years to come. Yeah. Thanks, mate. We'll see you on the podium. There he is, Zay Taylor. And we're just wrapping up the end of this heat here. Five seconds Five remaining. Five seconds left and didn't seem like there was heaps going on while we were having that chat with Zaid. Yeah, none of the positions changed. We still no. had Hardy out the front with a very, very strong win in first position. And Van Taylor taking...